Welcome to Flash CS5 tutorial. Make a comic book part one. This is a series of a few parts and we'll start this one by opening a new FLA, keep in action script three. Change the width to 300. The height would be 450. want to start off with a background VG and we'll make that stage 50% I want a real wide stroke pick up my rectangle tool make a rectangle open the properties panel make this stroke 2.5 five highlight the whole rectangle and make sure this is unlocked this link make the width the same size as the stage 300 by 450 and my stroke again 2.5 select it open up your alignment panel make sure align the stage is selected click the center horizontal and verticals and there's the background for this cover page that we're making lock that layer insert a layer call it title T I T L E select that first frame I want red for a fill color. Text tool. Make a text box. Static text is what I want. And in here, it's called a door jam. something called door jam right there door jam and make it about 45 points around there click embed it all okay close that up make a text box and write super s U P E R super and under that make another text box group G L U P E that's the title of my comic book highlight them both make sure you get them both selected drag them over here and that fits pretty good um, while they're both selected, modify, convert it to a symbol. Make sure its movie clip is selected. Call it title, T-I-T-L-E, underscore M-C. Okay, open the properties panel while it's still selected and give it the instance name, T-I-T-L-E, underscore M-C. Now, we'll double click on it. That'll take us inside this movie clip. While it's, while these two text boxes are selected, using my free transform tool, I'm going to turn them slightly sideways. And I'm just going to draw it in a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. And using my arrow keys, I'm going to top center it where I want it. Right about there. Okay, lock that layer. Oops, lock that layer. Put a new layer. Let's call that layer text. That when we just put that in, T E X T. That we know text. This new layer, select it. Call it yellow 
Y E L L B G as in yellow background. Select that frame one. Pencil tool. And the pencil is red. That's what I want. And just let's make it a little bigger here. We're just gonna make like a box around this like this with these spiky things, like a smash thing. Okay. Make your fill yellow. Pick up the paint bucket and dump it in. Now everything disappeared because of the layers. Make sure the text layer is on top. And there's our super glue. Let's put in right here, select two frames like this. Insert keyframes. So that just follows up to there. Let's insert another layer. Put that layer to the top. Call this action scripts. In the second frame, insert keyframe. And let's put a stop in this first keyframe. Open the actions panel. S T O P open close brackets semicolon back to scene one lock that title layer select the background black layer that one there insert another layer call it begin B E G I N pick up your text tool again Make sure this time again that it's red. So I got red here. And I'm looking for, well, let's make a text box. Engra here it is, engravers MT. E-N-G-R-A-V-E-R-S-M-T, that's what I want. Right, and let's make this around 27-ish, around there. Good size. Close this. Pick up your, make your box wider, and write the, T-H-E. That's pretty big. I don't want that font. Go back here, drop it down. There, 18 is better. I got the, right here. Pick up another box, put it below it, so they're not overlapping. B, E, G-I-N-N-I-N-G, -N 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 The Beginning. That's this, the series of this particular comic book I'm making. It's called, the first one is called The Beginning. And I'm going to select them both with my selection tool and drag them down. Take this down to 50%. And drag these down here. Okay, while they're selected, while they're both selected, I'm going to modify, convert them to a symbol, a movie clip. B-E-G-I-N, begin, underscore M-C, enter. While it's selected in the properties panel, give the instance name, B-E-G-I-N, underscore M-C. Double click on it, same procedure, and now we're inside it. And let's call this red. R E D T X, red text. I don't know if I can copy them both or not. Let's see if we can copy them both at the same time. Yeah, let them both select it. Get the crosshairs, right click, copy. So I'm copying both of those texts. I'm locking this box. Insert in a layer. I'm calling this yellow text. Y E L L T X, yellow text. I'm right clicking down here, paste it in place. Selecting that, come over here, pick up the fill, make it yellow, and make that all yellow. Make this one the, the word the. Oops. Get my selection tool, highlight the da word, highlight the whole thing, and make it yellow. So now I have the beginning 
put the red up here, put the red on top. And the only one that is selected is the yellow. And just using your arrow keys, selection tool, use your arrow keys and move that off a little bit like that and down. And you get that kind of an, uh, an effect. Unlock both layers. Selection tool, select them both. Make sure to both selection, select it. Free transform tool and give it a little bit of rotation similar to what's above. And I'm going to raise it and bring it over off center a little bit. Super glue the beginning. Go back to scene one. Lock that layer. With the begin layer selected, insert another layer. Call it comic. C O M I C. We got the red text again. Open it up. Make a text box up here in the corner. There it is. And it should be the same text that we just had, that engraver's 18 font, 18 points. And write comic, C-O-M-I-C. -C. You may have to resize it, as I did. It's okay. While it's highlighted, modify, convert it to a symbol. Movie clip again, C-O-M-I-C -I -C underscore M-C. While it's highlighted, give it the same instance name, C-O-M-I-C -I -C underscore M-C. Double click on it. We're going to do the same thing. We're inside of it. Call this red, R-E-D-T-X. Get your crosshairs, right click, copy it, lock this layer, make a new layer, call it yellow, Y E L L T X, right click, make sure that first layer of the yellow is first frame of the yellow layer, right click, paste in place, double click on it and highlight it, and make it yellow. Just want to see what we did here with the begin. With begin, we had read on top. So let's go back to the comic and make sure red is on top. So put the red on top. If I go up here and lock both layers and hide both layers, if I click on the yellow one, I'm seeing red. My red one's all right, but my yellow one's not. And I don't know if you have the same problem. So I'm going to unlock this layer, select frame one, highlight this, and just make it yellow. You, you may not have this problem. Now I'm going to make both of them visible. I'm leaving the red one locked, and I'm just going to use my arrow keys, select frame one, and I'm going to just move that off to the side a little bit. And as long as you have red on top and two colors, but that's your your choice. Back to scene one. Now I'm going to just drag that down into here for a little bit. And I want it to be seen. So I'm going to unlock the title. And tab that down with my arrow keys just a little bit. Lock all the layers. Select the top layer. Make sure you got the title layer selected. Insert a layer, call it button, B-U-T-T-O-N-S, buttons. I might put one one there. Select that first frame. We don't need any kind of a stroke, so that can be X'd off. And pick up rectangle tool. And right in here, just make a rectangle that covers the majority of that of that gloop sign. While it's selected, make sure you select selected with your selection tool. Modify, convert to a symbol. Movie clip. And this is called be called movie clip. It's going to be called title. T I T L E B T N. 
So it's, I know it's going to be used as a button. Underscore MC to let me know it's a movie clip. Title BTN MC. Open the properties panel and give it that same instance name. T I T L E B T N underscore MC. Make sure you spell it right. Let me use it. Lock all the layers. Make sure the top layer is selected. Insert a layer. And now we're going to write some code. Let's call this action script AS. Select frame one of this actions panel, of this actions layer. Open the actions panel and type, 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 type. type. It says title btn underscore mc that's the the button add event listener small a capital e capital l open bracket mouse event capital m capital e period roll over all capital letters r o l l underscore o v e r comma from there, oh, from that R right back to here is blue if it's spelt right, except for this open bracket. There's a comma after over, then the word bigger, it's just a name I'm given to a function we're making. Close bracket, semicolon. Here's the function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, that turns a purplish color. You can copy the word bigger and paste it in here. Open bracket. E V E N T colon. You can copy mouse event and paste it in here. Close bracket colon void. Void is the same color as function. Open bracket and as soon as you put the open bracket in, the second one usually comes up automatically. These are actually opened and closed curly brackets. Write in trace T R A C E. That'll turn blue. Open bracket quotation mark and I'm just calling it rollover close quotation mark close bracket semicolon and of course this close curly bracket you can then copy all this space down and paste it in and there's going to be some minor differences this here parts the same right up to here instead of roll over it's going to be roll underscore out comma instead of bigger it's smaller close bracket semicolon all this here is pretty well the same except here we got the word bigger make it smaller open curly bracket trace roll off this time we're tracing roll off because we're doing a rollout close bracket semicolon don't forget this goes in quotations and the close curly bracket so now let's test this out There's our, our button, target. When we roll on it, we trace roll over and then roll off. So let's just do one more quick thing with this. Let's go back here and where we have this buttons. Let's unlock lock all the layers. Unlock the button layer. Select frame one. Make sure the button is highlighted. Open the properties panel. And under color effects, right here, color effects, select the alpha and make sure the alpha is zero. So now that button disappears, it still works. Lock all those layers. Open up the title movie clip, that one. And we have two frames. Let's go to pull this up. I want to lock all the layers, this text and this yellow background layer. Make sure those two are selected. So everything here is selected. Pick up the free transform tool and we're going to make this larger. That just made it larger. Okay, now. 
Notice where, I put it back to where it was, notice where this circle is as compared to this X. This is the easiest way for me to do this. I'm holding my shift down, making it larger, and then I'm selecting the whole thing and putting it roughly back down there where it was. So we got this effect. Okay, go back to scene one, open the actions panel, and where we're doing this roll over over with the trace I want to go to that movie clip that was called title MC so T capital T T I T L E underscore MC period that's that movie clip G O T O all small letters capital A N D capital S T O P open bracket frame to close bracket semicolon so when we do that we'll go to that frame two of that and naturally we want to go back to frame one when we roll off so copy this copy right below the trace paste it and change the two to a one let's see if that works test movie when I roll over, it gets big, small, big, small. Let's see, if it was bigger, that would look good. See? Super gloop, super gloop. Back to scene one. I think that's enough for now. We'll close this tutorial. There will be a follow up. It'll be Make a Comic Book Part 2, where we'll have some little bits of am animation going down here with the super gloop. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.